Today I would like to meditate from Hebrews chapter 5 verse 7. This is about Jesus when he was living on the face of the earth. The author of Hebrews is telling during the days of Jesus life on earth he offered a prayer and petition with fervent cries and tears to the one who could save him from death and he was heard because of his reverent submission most of the time one question that comes to most of our life is how do i live a victorious christian life how do i live a blameless christian life am i even capable to do that even if with all my good desires can i do that answer is no you can't but then when god is setting a example like you know be like him be in the attitude like him live like him be like me how do we even achieve it look at the life of jesus it says he prayed we really want to live a holy life our greatest access to god is through prayer but the way he prayed was very interesting with prayer and petition with crying and tears are we desperately crying lord save me from the clutches of sin from the bondage of sin do we cry like that It says his prayers were answered. The prayer of Jesus was answered. It's a good example that you know, we cry out to the Lord. It says over here that he could save him from death. And he rose again. For us to be part of that resurrection in this world, God should save us from sin. The other attribute it says, he heard a because of sin. of reverential submission KJV says he was heard because of the fear of god do we fear god we misunderstand fear of god by thinking that it is a fear of punishment yes that's also a kind of fear but fear of all fear of the greatness of god now you stand in front of a natural enormous thing like a huge let's a word of all you stand underneath that and you have a oh ooh, that doesn't have life but god who created that such a great god you stand in front of him how do you how do you not even fear him we don't fear him because we don't understand so one prayer and petition with crying and tears with reverential fear will help us to overcome the death of sin. Let me repeat it once more. With prayer and petition, crying and tears to the one who can save us with reverential submission will save us from sin. God bless you.